actually I've dated guys with um with kids and um and it's a hard no for me. It um I'm so glad you don't have any kids. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> it's a hard no. I, Why is it a hard no? It's, you got to keep in mind that you uh, you got to naturally assume that you're going to be second place in that person's life or third or fourth or wherever those kids are in the in in there. Even with guys, even guys that aren't even in the in the house. I've dated guys that are in the you know, not in the house have their kids and ones that haven't seen their kids in years. Mm -hmm. And, um, and either one was just terrible. So, I mean, it, for me, for me, because it was just like, I knew that, you know, it's not just going to be, I'm not, I won't be the center of attention. Let me just be honest. You need your turn to be number one. I need to be number one. So, I mean, I found out in those relationships that you are not, nor will you ever be it. Top priority, the kids are going to be priority, and you've got to respect that. And if they're you're not, if you're number one and your kids are not the top priority, then there's a problem with that because yeah, exactly. you know, like that means that you need to get your priorities straight um, and not try to follow around me all the time, you know? Right. So I mean, like either way, it's a catch twenty two because it's just like it's terrible. I, I I I'm not saying that single dads shouldn't go mingle but i just think that they should mingle with people who have children or you know it's people that can relate to their yeah, situation it, that's understandable all females felt that way though because <laughs> terrible because you gotta look at it like you know men with kids you just say uh and they they don't have a relationship you know they need love too you know what i'm True. saying so yeah. if, if every woman thought like that they just be <laughs> I did. Yeah. No luck for them then. I mean, you know I, I, mean? I lucked out, you know, and, you know, I, if Matt, if you did have a child, I think that I would try to make it work. I, I would. But we'll never know because you know. We'll never know now. Would the answer be differently before or after you found out I was Canadian? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, Canadian Babies in Canada? Canada. Babies in Canada. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> he does not have any children. <laughs> All right, no more talking kids. Okay. Please, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please, no. Um, but yeah, as far as like putting this back a little bit, um, your significant other or whatnot or get, uh, getting, in, getting into a relationship or early on, with somebody that has a lot of friends of the opposite sex. Right. All right. So what's your opinion on that one? Uh, me personally, I I mean, I, I'm I'm used to just being friends with everybody. If 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 you if you say hi to me, you shake your hand, I'm pretty much your friend. If we still keep in contact within a short period of time, then then we still talking, and most of my friends are over ten years. I would I would just say like how close are they? You know, like if I have a if I have a girl and she has a, a friend that's a guy, you know, how close are they? Are they close to where you know, like I gotta I gotta see like if I see any signs to where it seem like he's trying to get at her or in any type of way, then it'd be a different story. Then it's kind of like all right, that's the cutoff period. You need to cut them off. You know what I mean? But if it's just somebody, you know. Just you, you can kind of tell, you know, if that's that person and that's a genuine friend that don't have no, you know, thoughts of trying to be with that person, then, you know, I, I, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't feel bad if my girl had a, a, a friend that's a guy and it's just strictly friends, you know what I mean? And it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It ain't so, no. so it'd be, yeah, very different if whatnot, if they, if they all had their own relationships. Yeah, like he's in a relationship. You know, independent they, and they just friends. They've been friends probably before me. Then it'd be different. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, a, a, a guy that he just super close to her and he, you know, all he want to do is be around my girl all the time. Like, you know, it, it, mm. you know, that's a little different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, game. Re- <laughs> she, she wants to go last or not. OK, game, uh, I say game recognized game. That's, so I can say again, recognize gang. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it before she call it. You know, you can kind of tell though. Yeah. You can always right. tell though. Yeah, I, <laughs> like I'm not. Like I don't. Usually has a point system. No, man. well, I don't. I don't shy away from no conversation. Like I don't yeah. care. Like if, if that's your friend, I'm gonna talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Like I'm a, like I'm not saying I'm like oh you can't. Be, it's whatever. Like 
But just know that I'm not stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll yeah. let you know off front, off Jump Street. Like, you I know. Have, you wouldn't have a problem with it, though? Well, if that was a friend before me, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to wreck, her, wreck her personal life shit. Like, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be adding to the situation. I'm not, because I don't want nobody ever sit back and tell me some shit about resentment and shit like that. Like, live your life accordingly, but just know I'm not stupid. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to tolerate no bullshit. Okay. If you, and like I said, if you, if you, like, I, what you can do, I can do better. So, simple. That, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I, tick for tack. Yeah. Nah, it gonna be nah. It, it ain't gonna be tick for tack. It's gonna be one one uh, one shot. You uh, one shot. You done. Oh, yeah. uh, but I'm gonna let it be known. You mm-hmm. done. <laughs> but I don't know. Like to be honest with you, because my mom she had she had guy friends and shit like that. Was, was she faithful? Shit, I don't know. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like the thing about it was though. You know, my mom she was a type of person. Like she'll let shit be known. Like she ain't shying away from that. Yeah. I actually prefer the guy to be feminine though. You know, if 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 she if it's a guy that's you know my uh, you know straight as a slinky, yeah yeah, I, I have a problem if he's straight. You know, because hey, it, yeah. it tend to it tend to uh, you know straight guys tend to you know I don't know how many like guy friends you got a girl that's a friend and y'all ain't trying to yeah. So there's a little opportunities as that. Hey. Yeah, if he's feminine, he got he a full fledged you know. Hey man, there's some dudes that would play that role. There's some dudes that would play that role. <laughs> well, you know, no. huh? back, back in high school, college, that was the that was the thing. Yeah, there's some dudes that would play that role and still try to go after your girl. There's some dudes, there's some gay dudes out there that are really, really gay, but they have that that back in their mind. The only woman I will sleep with is my best friend. Oh yeah, but they gay though. Well, no, yeah, like, but the only woman they want is. Yo, woman, <laughs> like if they ever had a chance, we'll be hurt. I mean, it's, <laughs> like, you know, it's that's why I say you can tell. You can tell the situation, though. <laughs> oh yeah, no, because because um, your your woman is whenever they complain about something about you, it's to him. They know all your weaknesses. They know all your strengths. They know everything. <laughs> well, you say, best friend. Well, you know, you know, you know. The thing about that is though, too, though, is like sometimes. When that type of stuff is going down, they're focusing more on your weaknesses. That's fine, but you don't know what I got up 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 my sleeve and how strong I can be. You're just pointing out the weaknesses because we're in a relationship. Now see how I do when I'm out. Ooh. I'll show you. <laughs> like I don't care. Oh like, no, I'm <laughs> talking about like your wife talking to them. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. I, I would I would definitely have a big problem if my girl is running back telling another guy about our business. Like or or well, no, what's I mean, going on in, in our we're, relationship? We're, yeah, I have a problem. Yeah, we're 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 talking about like for instance, like their 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 other shoulder to cry on, or like their one that they've known I was, for thirteen years, or whatever. I would still have a problem. You still that, that's yeah. it. I think that that's a problem. Okay. Two, um, I think it's just me. I'm kind of antisocial. This is about what this is my um, this is what I do on the weekend, and this makes me feel good i'm surrounded by people and i'm talking that's good but i mean i i can understand how you know people want aside from their significant other whatever they'd want to talk to somebody else just to get a different opinion however i think that your best friend should be the person that you put a ring on the moment that happens i i that's how i feel i i feel like once that ring gets on sorry matt that you know <laughs> your best friend is now your best friend and that's the person you need to be talking to um 24 7 and if, <laughs> if that's <laughs> and if that's a person happens to be a guy or a girl you know um then that then hooray for you you know what i mean so 